hello my Virgo kings and queens welcome to your video so this is all to do with what's in store for you in January 2021 your love reading this is about um, your tarot side of it um, for cross watchers you're more than welcome to see this video and take whatever resonates with yourselves as well same goes for everyone with Virgo just take whatever resonates with yourself and leave the rest um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with your cards now. Um, right, so your first card is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is this person that you're coming in contact with is very, very fiery. So they've got a fire um, zodiac sign. There is to be some strengthening, some rep relations i don't know what's wrong with me today that's all i'm doing is get my words mumbled it must be uh your aura your your sign <laughs> um right as i was saying there's some strength of it, strengthening relationships that is living peacefully as well being very courageous being very passionate and also being funny and independent as well. There is that type of sexiness and being very confident. But also can be a bit forgetful as well. And like to take charge. So we have the sign of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius as well. Okay, the next card we have then is the Ace of Wands. So there is to be a passionate new love beginning with this person. There is to be some type of romantic moments. This is also the sign of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius as well. There is new beginnings. There is some good news that's coming forward as well. There is some talent and growth and excitement expansion as well on the horizon with this person. You have the reversed four swords. This can be linked to another side to another person because there is separation, having no passion, trying to find some mental strength, recovering very slowly, going into that healing mode as well, some mental breaks that needed to be happened. Um, but there is this the sense of not being able to accept any counselling, not accepting things from people, not accepting um, any source of light from someone, like any um, anything to help you move forward and get better. I got very strange energy coming off you, Virgo, tonight. One. I forget my words. Two, I can't get the words out in my mind. So I think there's a lot of confusion going on for you, Virgo. And there's a lot of energies coming in as well as the candles are flickering right next to me. So there is... There is a lot of mental bricks, like mental breakdowns that's happen. So maybe a lot of confusion, a lot of things going on in the mind of this person or yourself. It's like you don't know what to do. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is, there is to be some type of prosperity coming in. Some manifestation that's coming forward as well and some new financial opportunities. There is some happiness, wealth, new beginning and some type of security, stability and abundance as well. There is the feeling, which is the nine of pentacles, being single, just looking after yourself or this person just looking out for themselves. These solo pleasures doing how they want or what you want, which is valuing your own hard work, valuing all the achievements, staying grounded. Having a lot of encouragement. Um, there may be some type of pregnancy that's on the horizon and some type of freedom. And this is the zodiac sign of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this is this can be yourself as well. That's having some peace and mind and contentment over something. Then you have the three of cups, so there's type of celebration and a gathering. 
Um, it could be a wedding, an engagement, it could be also a reconciliation over a third party member um, or a type of proposal or reunion or, a, you know, a lot of happiness. And this is the zodiac signs of Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Reverse Eight of Wands you have now. So the reversed Eight of Wands is avoid taking on too many responsibilities. You may have the feeling of being disconnected or withdrawn from everyone. There's a lot of stagnation. There may be some bad timing that's going on and some delays. There may be some type of lack of romance going on as well. There is some impulsiveness and being impatient and having some type of panic over a certain situation as well. I don't know why, but I'd be fine on the other videos, but on this one I sat and have like pain, head pain, so I don't know if anyone that's watching this has been suffering with head pain um, that could resonate with this. You know, there's a lot of things to take in. I'm, I'm getting for someone is a lot to take in. Then you have the reversed two of cups. So there's also separation and breakup. Arguments, a broken friendship, the need of forgiveness, fear of any commitments and disharmony, and the fear of incompatibility with someone. Then there is the Three of Swords, so there's heartbreak and loss, deception, frustration, jealousy and a broken heart. There could be a potential fertility issues and a miscarriage with someone, feeling of being lost, grievance, betrayal, feeling lonely, sadness or some type of trauma. Ten of Swords, a very, very painful situation. Could be an ending of a relationship. Betrayal, crisis, defeat, a big mess, breakup, frequent misunderstandings within the relationship, feeling empty. Someone could be bitching or backstabbing behind your back or behind this person's back and they're finding out about it. There's some bitterness. And there may be a potential of severing some ties in a relationship. And the zodiac signs we have is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Then we have the Queen of Swords. So this person is very, very fierce. They can be cold-hearted when they want to. They like to find out the truth of the matter. Quick-witted. They can have some type of malicious intent. But they can be very helpful. They have that type of sharp mind about them. They can sometimes be a bit of a bad mouth. Um, but they, they, they can be to do with some type of painful experience with this person's involved with bitterness. And is everything from the past that keeps arising. So this person may come from the past. But there is an ending to something for a new beginning. So this is a zodiac sign of Scorpio. So... There may be a big transformation in the works and this is another person that's coming in and all, everything that have happened that have been said in you is to do with a blessing in disguise. Then the last card then we have is the reversed empress. So the reversed empress is about lack of affection, um, lack of communication, like uh, no communication whatsoever with this person, being ghosted, a lot of insecurities, some infertility, a lack of confidence, overbearing tendencies and some disharmony with this person. Okay, this is your reading for January 2021. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Have a lovely new year and please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. It helps my content and helps me to get more, um, have that courage and have that confidence for me to make more uh, videos and to help me with my readings as well. So love and light to you all and see you all again soon. Bye.